Welcome back to Renegade Expedition, guys. On this episode, we're meeting our good friend Jesse down here in the Big Bend National Park area. He has something very special in store for us. He's planning on taking us up to Christmas Mountain Trail. Uh, so we will be joining him for that, as well as uh, a, a special festival here in Terralingua. Um, the natives here love to celebrate Day of the Dead, and they have their own little customs and traditions. So we've decided to join them. Um, Stick around, we have something very special in store for you guys. Thanks again for coming back. How's it going guys? We're currently in Sweetwater, Texas. We've been driving for about three hours. Uh, this is our first pit stop. I know it's gonna be hard for you to hear me, but um, we figured it'd be a good time to update you guys on the trip. Everything's performing well. The rigs are performing really, really well. The bison is going through a bit of a regen, but everything's good. Um, so far, everything's all right. We have about five hours left to go, but we'll update you as soon as we have more. That was a beautiful drive down. The next morning, we got up, ate breakfast, and got ready to go up to Christmas Mountain. Before embarking on the day's adventures, we had a driver's meeting, just so we could outline what was to be expected for the day. The Christmas Mountains is a small mountain range located just outside Big Bend National Park in Terlingua Ranch. The range is owned and operated by Texas State University. In order to access the trail, a reservation must be made in advance since only one group of vehicles is allowed on the trail at a time. It is required that you have a four-wheel drive and a high-clearance vehicle. Before you hit the trail, stop by the main office to place a $50 deposit 
in exchange for a key that will open the gate to the trail. We're at Terlingo Ranch and we're actually signing some waivers so we can go up Christmas Mountain. So we're about to hit some trails, so follow us. What's going on guys? We're up here in Christmas Mountain right now. Uh, the trip up here was about an hour or so going through really tight roads. Uh, really, uh, It's not difficult at all. It's more gravel than anything else. However, uh, there are some technical spots as you're climbing up here. And as a customary thing to do while you're up here, and they're going to tell you this at the office uh, where you acquire your permit, uh, write your name on a rock, okay? Write your name, you can write a message, it doesn't really matter. And the next step is, you see that? That's all I'm gonna put. Now follow me, we'll go put it up over here.
After soaking in the sights at one of the best views in Texas, we made a quick lunch and made our way back down from the summit. After Christmas Mountain, we decided to head into town for the Day of the Dead celebration. While we waited for the Day of the Dead to begin, we decided to head into the gift shop located next to the cemetery to pass the time. Once at the gift shop, we found some really cool souvenirs that paid its respects to the culture and traditions that surround Terra Lingua. Some of these include coffee mugs, candles, jewelry, decals, sugar skulls, and figurines. For anyone visiting Big Bend, Terra Lingua is a routine stopping point with an abundant amount of history. Much like the California Gold Rush, Terra Lingua was the hot spot for Mercury in the early 1900s. Once that went south, Terra Lingua essentially became a ghost town. 
Since its demise in the 40s, there have been events that have taken place every year, including the International Chili Cook-Off and the Day of the Dead. After visiting the gift shop, we headed down to the cemetery where El Dia de los Muertos festivities were happening. Held every year on November 2nd, the Day of the Dead, or El Dia de los Muertos, commemorates over 400 souls at the cemetery. Most of those buried were old-time miners, but there were some recently departed souls buried as well. We decided to limit the amount of video taken to respect the residents and those buried. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all of our future videos. Stay tuned for the series finale as we tackle the infamous Black Gap Road and conclude our trip out in Big Bend National Park.